60 секунд. Давление в камере сгорания в норме. Вас понял, я бурлак один. Нормальный порядок. Принято бурлак один. Emergency of booster, 2 minutes 45 seconds, the uh, emergency, the failure of the booster. Failure of the booster. BS, yes, BS. Separation. Enable power. <laughs> 190 seconds into the flight, so he's traveling about 4,700 miles per hour. Don't be in a hurry. Burlaki, copy. We are in uh, weightlessness, you know, according to our sensations. Stand by. Burlaki, do you have F1 illuminated? 11.42.17, failure. 11.42.17 is the time of the failure. F1 on SP is illuminated. Copy. Okay, the shroud is separated, the crew is feeling well, everything is well on board. We have crew uh, in our hands and the power is on. Copy. So what are the recommendations of the ground? What about the separation? Did the separation go through? Yes, it did. 11.42.55. Burlaki, did you deactivate root power? No, uh, did you activate the root power? Yes, the root power is on. on. Now, Please send the S command. Ballistic uh, descent command is sent from root controller. Copy. 11.45.30. The S has been sent. We have the indicator illuminated. The overload has started. Yes, we are getting ready for the G-load. Time 12.46, G-load is 6.7. Copy. We feeling rotation. The G load is going down. 1846.20. G load is 272 and going down. Copy, Burlaki. So tighten the straps.
in work. Hearing there that uh, there has been uh, an issue with the booster and we're standing by for information as we continue to get it from the Russian flight control team, but everything seems to be fine with the crew. We had good calm with them and they are okay. We continue to wait for more information. Team here in Mission Control continuing to uh, work with their counterparts in Moscow, getting more information on the uh, contingency that uh, interrupted today's inter uh, launch to the International Space Station of the Soyuz MS-10. They did have a problem with a booster not long after launch that led the Soyuz to go into what's called a ballistic descent mode, uh, bringing it home back to Earth early. Uh, the search and rescue teams are already in the air. They uh, took off at about 3.55 a.m. Central Time, and we expect it to take about an hour and a half for them to reach the location where the Soyuz, Soyuz is now expected to touch down. Continue to provide more information as it's available. You can uh, stay tuned here for, for continuing updates.